Hey everyone, um, I am doing a quick video for the Super Simples number seven. It's just gonna be the shortened version because I need to make a longer one that's gonna show me putting it all together. But for now, until I can get to that, I thought I'd at least do a short one um, so you can get a general idea of how it comes together if you wanna hurry and do it before I have time to put the longer video together. So <laughs> that was a long explanation. I'll, I will have a more detailed um, video of this within a couple of days. So, but here's a short one for now. So this is super simples number seven. I'm gonna show you generally how it goes together. I'll try to explain some different things for you. Um, when you print out all of the pages, I printed everything on cardstock except for the pages that are the flip outs, these right here. So this I did on regular weight paper, this little piece, this little piece right here, this piece right here, which don't worry about that square. It's not gonna look like that yet. And this main piece right here. Um, it's on two, it's two separate pages that you'll print on regular weight paper. And the reason I did that is because there's so many flips in this <clears throat> that I didn't want it to be super thick. So I printed all of those on regular weight paper, everything else cardstock. Um, all right, so let me just kind of show you how I put it together. So <clears throat> the first step is you have your main background rectangle. I'll show you the back of it. It's this piece right here. You can see it. And I did that on cardstock. I did sew around the edges and I'll show you what I put in that one. And keep in mind, you can do it however you want. This is just a suggestion. But there was this little rectangle piece here and then this big rectangle piece right here. And I did end up, I'll show you up close. I did end up doing one of my um, border punches to just make that kind of fun on that little pocket edge. So I did do that and then I sewed around that whole piece. And then there's several different pieces. You can kind of make a cute little collage here. These are the ones I chose and you can also probably see I sewed around most of these little labels. Um, I just like to do it. Okay, then I just stuffed a few of these fun little ephemera pieces into that main pocket. They're super cute. So there is that piece. Then you have this main piece of paper. So I started at the back and worked my way to the front. So this is your very back pocket. Now, um, if you want to sew it, you can, or if you want to glue it, you can. I actually glued and then sewed on this one. Um, so keep in mind that that is an option. So what I did is I sewed and what you're going to want to do is fold everything and lay it out how it's going to go in your book and then make sure you've got things right side up. Make sure you've got it how you want it before you go ahead and attach it. Because I, um, this just comes as a rectangle. You're going to need to cut this little top off and then do your little hole punch right here with a punch. Um, I just use this little one inch punch and punch out that little tab there. And then the tag, you'll see the pieces that go to the tag. It comes unfolded, so it comes in one open piece and then I just glue the pieces together to get it a nice thick solid tag with a cute back and a cute front. Um, so that's how I do that. And this will all make more sense probably in the long video, but for those of you who are gung-ho and want to get going, then I'm sure that this isn't too complicated and you can figure it out. But I added some lace and a little sign and just some extra things right there. And so this is actually just one piece with a flap. I can show you the flap on the back. And then I glue that in. So then it just becomes this flappy pocket piece that just folds out. I did this cute collage on the front and this is just part of the piece. It just has this cute little kind of postcard thing. It's really cute. And then I turned that into a pocket. And remember, this is lightweight paper. As you can see that's just super lightweight. 
and it's just fine because typically I would make these little flip outs with old envelopes. So, and those are just regular weight paper. So it works perfect for these little flip outs. All right, the second one is this one right here. And again, I sewed those three sides together and I kept this one open and I snipped it along this side this time. So the tab for this one is right here. And then after I sewed the three sides, I clipped, I just took my little zippy cutter and just snipped off the very top of that so that it would now be able to open up. Because otherwise that is a fold. So I just clipped it off and then this is the ephemera piece for that. It's this fun little journaling piece with a cute little bumblebee tab. And it says, just be you. I thought that'd be funny. And added a little bit of cheesecloth right there. So just simple, made this little collage on the back, a little quote and a little piece of uh, flower fussy cut. So then you have these two done. And you go ahead and attach that. This is your next pocket. Um, again, on this one, I glued down the sides I wanted done and then snipped off the top of it so that now it opens up. It'll make so much more sense when you see it. But for now, it will do. If you, um, if you have some experience, it'll make sense. But if not, you can wait for the other one. No worries. Um, and then I just... Did some lace on it, put this cute quote on the back, tucked in some cute little ephemera pieces. This one has a cute back. This is just a white back. But there, I've got some bee related stuff this time. So I thought that'd be fun and fit with the other ones. Okay, and this is the teeny tiny pocket. Same thing. I didn't sew this one cause it was teeny enough. I just glued it. But this used to be the fold right along here. And I um, just snipped the, very, very end off and then punch that little bit out, made it into a tiny, tiny pocket for this tiny tag. Oh, there's the tag. It's cute on the back too. And added some fun little twine for the top. Um, if I can get that puppy in there, there we go. So, and then just glue those last two tabs down. So if you kind of just assemble it before you glue it all together, make sure you've snipped in the right places to make those pocket tucks, and then you will be just fine. And um, there's a lot of creativity and variation that you can do with this kit in putting it together. So don't be afraid to step out and experiment a little bit with it. You can do, um, just about anything you want, different words in different places, different collage images. You can probably place the pockets in a different order if you really wanted. Um, you could cut off this side and make it a pull out that direction instead. But just keep in mind then this big tag would probably need to go back in here and you can maybe turn this into a little pull out or whatever. So you would have to just just play around with it. Make sure it's all going together how you want before you go ahead and glue things down or cut or whatever you're gonna end up doing. But I will hopefully get to the long video here within a few days and then I'll just switch out this link. But for those of you that saw that it was available on Etsy and really wanted to get going on it, then here's just a quick general idea of what you're looking at. This one's a little more involved. I think we're getting a little more advanced with our um, super simple kits, but I love these flip out techniques. I think they're just, they're just fun. They're just fun to create, fun to experiment with, fun to put together. And once you know how to do it with this, you would be able to get an envelope and you will understand exactly how you're gonna turn that into a pocket and make it your own. So. I think this is a great way to learn that technique. One more thing that I should have pointed out. I actually, um, when you get this, this is just a solid piece. I actually use this giant punch right here to punch out that little window. I just thought that would be fun. Um, you do not have to do that. And you can also do it with an X-Acto knife. Just measure out what you want and just snip, snip, snip before you um, sew anything because then it'll be easy to just get through the one layer. 
because obviously you, well, maybe you do want to go through both layers, but um, that's up to you. So I just want, went through that first layer and did it before I sewed and glued anything together. So anyway, there you are. Super simple, super fun. Um, I'll try to answer any other questions that I might have in the longer video, but for now, that'll get you started. So I hope you have a wonderful day. Talk to you later. Bye.